the first time. Uka came flying with me. He was really happy. It was fun for him. And then we flew for five minutes, 10 minutes and more and more. I just have to say, take off and hook up, run between my legs and we can go flying. My friend said, it's crazy how your dog is reacting because some dogs are afraid. Well, with Uka, I checked different steps and every time it was amazing. We slept on the paragliding takeoff and he got cuddles from the pilot, the passenger. We got the harness. And the last step was to run between my legs because to take off, it's easier if he's running with me. If really he was scared of flying, he would just run away. But he's really not showing any signs of fear or anxiety. He hates to be alone and I spend all my time every day with him. He has a small place under my bed and in the morning I just open the door and he is running outside. He loves to be outside for sure. But Luca was abandoned two times and he was in a shelter. So I was traveling in my van, in this van, and I thought that having a companion would be a good idea. Uka was looking for a new family. I spent the whole day with him, hiking in the forest. We go for a tour in the car. At the end of the day, I said to the owner of the shelter, like, what is the trick? Why people are abandoning such a nice dog? And the main reason said it's because he didn't have the freedom and the activity he needed every day. So I picked him up and we went straight to the Alps. He was like running everywhere. It was like Disneyland for him. He understood that, okay, I think it's my place now. You can feel on his face that he's like, okay, when can we go out again? I bring him in all the adventures and I think Uka is happy 